Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's lesson will be the C major scale using whole and half stops. We will also find a major scale on different keys besides C. Our lesson objectives will be writing out the C major scale, playing the C major scale on a keyboard if you have one at home, and using whole and half stops to create a major scale, not only on C, but on any note you want. So let's start off by identifying our white keys of the keyboard C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so let's play it. That's a really, really easy way to illustrate what it looks and sounds like. There it is. Now, we use a keyboard in theory to illustrate major scales because it's a really, really easy visual tool to understand scales, which are the building blocks of music. Eventually, you'll be using scales and keys to analyze pieces and really think about where they start and where they go throughout the entire time they're happening and then where they end again. So scales are the part of the building blocks of music, like sentences are in grammar. So we use a scale to illustrate a key. This is the key of C. It's on the keyboard, all white keys. C major. We say major because of a certain pattern of whole and half steps. Here's our pattern. The interval between each note is either a whole step or a half step. Let's figure this out. From C to C sharp is a half step. From C sharp to D is another half step. So this is a whole step. Here, over here we'll write W equals whole, H equals half. Okay, so the first interval from the first note of the scale to the next note is a whole step. From the second note to the third note, let's see, from D to D sharp is a half step, from D sharp to E is another half step. Two half steps equals one whole step. So we have two whole steps beginning this scale. From E to F, they're right next to each other. This is a half step. F to G, whole step because they are separated by a black key. G to A, separated by a black key. This is a whole step. From A to B is another whole step. From B to C, these are right next to each other. This is a half step. So. Our pattern is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And let's play it to further understand the whole steps and half steps. From C to C sharp, half step. C sharp to D, half step. So C to D is a whole step. D, D to E. When we're traveling from D, we always play this black key. We count this black key between D and E. We count this black key between C and D. So these are whole steps. This is a smaller interval, right? It sounds like this. It's smaller. This is a half step. You can use your ears to determine a whole step or half step, or you can look at the keyboard. This is a half step. So from F to G, there's a black key between them. Whole step. G to A, they're separated by a black key. Whole step. A to B, separated by a black key. Whole step. B to C, half step. A major scale wouldn't be the same without these half steps. Let's play only whole steps on the keyboard and see what it sounds like. Whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Whole step. This is a scale using only whole steps. It sounds really different.